Hi, I'm Eric Sakimoto, District Sales Manager of Taylor Guitars. And I'm Mark Seal, host of the Ultimate Guitar Show and Product Specialist for Taylor Guitars. And we're here at Wildwood Guitars to do an overview of the Taylor K22CE Wildwood CV. Now the K22CE is a grand concert. And what's really special about the grand concert is it's a great recording guitar and very useful to do some figure picking with it. Now we also like to call it a secret weapon because its size is not too big. So it's very comfortable if you're plugging in and playing on stage in front of a, a live audience with a full backing band behind you. Okay, the other thing about the Grand Concert is it's not overly powerful, it's not too loud. And it has a very balanced tone that's not too bassy and not too trebly. So when you're playing with a full band, you're not getting on in the way of the bass player side or on the percussionist side on the high end. So it fits really nice in its pocket right in the mid range where the acoustic guitar belongs. So that's why we call it the secret weapon as far as the Grand Concert. Now what's new about the Koa guitars this year is we added some new inlays. It's all island vine on the fretboard and on the headstock. It's got maple binding and purfling around the outside of the guitar. And you also see the maple on the rosette. Now what we did special with Wildwood guitars is we put double A Koa on the top, back, and sides. And what's special with all the Wildwood CVs is that it has Adirondack CV bracings on the inside on the top of the guitar. So with the Adirondack CV bracing, it's a lot more responsive to a lighter touch, which makes it great for a grand concert. And it also enhances the sound of the tone woods. So with Koa, okay, Koa has some really good bass response, but it actually has a lot of high end treble response. But I also like to call it a patient wood, because if you play it five, 10 years along its lifetime, it's gonna open up on the bass side and get just as bassy as East Indian rosewood. So it's a great tone wood. It looks beautiful, right? You can only get it on the island of Hawaii. And in order for it to have this much figure on the wood, it has to grow above an elevation of 2,500 feet. And you can only buy it from private land. So it's very rare and hard to get but something that we love to use and build guitars with at Taylor Guitars. So this particular guitar sounds great for strumming, which is really nice, but it also, because it's a little bit shallower body and a little bit smaller, it's great for finger style. So I'll start off by just maybe strumming a few chords for you, give you an idea of where it sounds there, and then we'll move into a little bit of finger style, and you'll hear uh, just how clear it is. But on top of that, when I go into the finger style, notice how, how little attack I actually have to have. It requires very little energy to get the top excited. So you can hear that high-end sparkle that Eric was talking about, but also, and I you know digging in, it was fine, but as I go into something with a much lighter touch, you'll get that same balance. So that's the Taylor K22CE Wildwood CV, and we're here at Wildwood Guitars. Mm -hmm. 